the family feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my eyes out with me. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to get into my good sis voice for the people's video. Um, it's the Shay Brooklyn Kai. It's a lot going on. Uh, not J Long. We already reacted to that. Okay. Uh huh. I say, I was like, all right. I get it. So Deshae first recently sat down with Kayla Nicole for a live sit down Q&A video and was asked this. Did you know Brooklyn was being abused in her last relationship? <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay. You did? That chicken look good in here. You know, I said, damn, okay. Right there. Oh. I don't think, personally, I don't think she was being abused. Oh, okay. Damn. Me that, knowing that, Brooklyn, bro, she was doing some shit. Brooklyn yeah. is one of the type of people where, like, sometimes she'll take something overboard. Like, I'd be able to tell Brooklyn, like, chill out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. chill out. And I know just for a minute. Mm -hmm. And, you know, relationships are always going to do what they got to do with that. Mm -hmm. Arguments and shit. But to be abused, I mean, that's some shit. Well, would I be cool with Justin if he's... If, right, if right, I right. felt like Brooklyn was really getting abused on mm -hmm. shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, but, I feel I know you would. You know what like, I'm saying? But it's like, I know Brooklyn, like, and I love Brooklyn to death and shit like that. But my sister, like, she'll be the one, like, she'll push you to your limit, like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Damn, Brooklyn is hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, he absolutely just agreed. Mm -hmm. uh oh, and I. Not... Yeah. He was supposed to just stay asleep. Yeah. Stay up until he can go to sleep again. Okay. Um, child, I forgot what we was talking about. You know what I'm saying? So it puts you to your limit. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not finna, uh, I'm not finna bash my sister for this wrong, but second, yeah. I'm the type to pull my sister aside, like, yo, like, yo, I know this is what you think and I wonder, whatever, but you need to step back and maybe step back from the internet and really see your actions and your, you know what I'm saying? And see, cause you trying to put out this per, this image or anything can mm -hmm. backfire on you like a motherfucker. Right. And I tell her, but I've been doing this five years before you even thought about Y'all see they got on this. the mics now? Where was the mics at when we was watching it? I'm not understanding. Right. So I could tell you, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But you know, I yeah, feel like she's learning. I feel like she's learning a lot and I feel like she learned from that experience. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel, I feel like um, she's grown from that. You know what I'm saying? Right. The older you get, the more you learn. But I'm there to help her because I've been through this before. I've done this before. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's like, I want to help her instead of just, like, just you teaching know her. Just they use that because they got a Samsung phone. A Samsung, probably the only phone with the damn cord. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. The cord that you used to put in the headphone, the circle. Mm. Ain't that about a bitch. Okay. Don't, and just showing like, he yo, being like, phone, shame man. on. Supposedly people are saying that Brooklyn Frost unfollowed her brother Deshae Frost after he answered the question. Now y'all leave in the comments, do y'all think Deshae was wrong for answering the question? Tyson had reacts you to DDG know. announcing that he's a dad now. I think that he was just being honest. And if she do push you to the limit and some more shit, that's just crazy. However, you got to take up for your sister. Absolutely. But you, 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 right is right, wrong is wrong. Nah, that too. And so, you know, if he ain't do that, don't put that out like he just this abusive ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> the shade wouldn't want that to happen to him, so I feel him. That boy, DDG, R -R 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 -R. is a father! R -R -R -R. Listen to me, bro. He has a baby boy, bro. Congrats to, congrats to, is, is Hallie or Haley? To all the people who just hating on. I, all the negative comments that I be seeing with DDG and shit like that, bro. Yeah, this is not in their lives, bro. They're happy Real with each shit. other. They're happy with each other, bro. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's never that serious to be commenting on their daily, day-to-day -day relationship status, bro. Yours, bro. The people that be commenting on their, on their relationship shit, they be going through problems themselves, bro. Mm -hmm. I know, because I be going through your profiles on the low. Check your activity know. feed on, on, on Instagram. You, you can see Kai Sinat has visited your profile, bro. <laughs> How's life being I a dad? Cannot. Life being a dad is amazing. And it's a lot easier than what bottle. people try to make it. Like, before I had That's some DDG whatever, shit. Before, you know, I, I, I met him, it was more so like I was nervous because of what people told me. But now that he hears Probably shit, he's up like, or 
Literally, mm -hmm. all you got to do is feed them. Feed them, burp them, put them to sleep, change mm -hmm. his diaper, repeat. The only hard part about it is waking up in the middle of the night, but it's a part of the journey. Mm -hmm. And you don't deal with it for too long, so... Oh, it's yes, amazing. you do. I, I don't understand. <laughs> well, I guess it's not here. So sorry. Not take care of it. Like, it's just it's precious, man. You know, and I'm not, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not like a sentimental feelings person at all. But like, I don't know what it is, bro. Like, it's just, yeah, I didn't That's your C. <laughs> Absolutely. I am not like a super duper heartfelt dude at all. Like, I'm very hard shell for real, but. I don't know, man. Baby made me soft. Corey alleged Blue <laughs> Carmen looking like recently As got an SSG should. tattoo on her face. Y'all leave in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to that. This is very un millionaire like of Corey. He really got him a Carmen look alike. Mm -hmm. I just. Man. Janae Aries' mom is back and supposedly she's saying that Cat Williams' interview has inspired her to call out certain YouTubers. She's oh, calling out Prime, Corey, Lord. and Kiana, claiming that they didn't give her the proper recognition that she deserved. Now, a couple of years ago, she did sue Corey, claiming that when she was his manager that he didn't pay her certain money. But Corey, Nikki King, and other people that work with her claim that she didn't do her part as far as fulfilling certain promises that she was going to do as far as their career. Now, she's saying that she did. Now, she did drop the case against Corey, claiming that when she saw the kids and made her drop the case because she felt bad for the kids and since then we haven't heard about the situation between Janae and the people that she worked with but she is now back and here's what she had to say all right so i haven't really been bothering anybody on the internet i have been minding my own business and after seeing cat williams interview i'm like why not right so here go the old lady cloud chasing ain't got no money broke ain't did nothing for nobody stole money from everybody just camera saying that everybody need to humble themselves and sit down with that whole I made you stuff because if we actually look at facts and not go by emotions and we actually look at the numbers, um, Corey, you came to me with I think 108, left me at two mil. Uh, Kiana, I think you came to me with maybe 180, 200, left me at 5K. Prime had nothing. Was sleeping on our floor in our all boys house before everybody went. As my son said, kamikaze. And what? You heard <coughs> Like I understand. Prime I know Prime about to be so so upset. Like we all, especially me, I'm one of them too that had my broke ass moments on this platform. I really did. We all have. Yeah. Prime up now though. And I feel like since he got up, <laughs> niggas really been feeling some type of way. However, with Janae, I do understand where she coming from in general because it was just mm -hmm. issues with her and all of them. Mm -hmm. I think they got to a point where they did not want to pay her correctly. I really do. You making 20, 50, 100,000, 20% of that is a lot. Mm -hmm. And then you were looking at the bitch like, what did you even do? You feeling that way. But the ideas is what costs the most. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, girl, I that's so crazy she said that, though. And he had zero subs. We legit started your channel from scratch. And yeah, you lost it the first one. But you already had built the following because Trey brought you in. And when Trey brought you in, him and Eric, when they was together, they built you and Kiana and brought y'all on and boosted y'all channels. Mm. And made y'all, you know, a thing. And why y'all was in the house with me. It's just funny to me how everybody's just skipping over this. Like, Neb ain't built off my foundation. It's just crazy to me how y'all just forgetting the details. And so it's just better. Just don't say nothing. It's just, just nobody built nobody. Everybody just grinded. Just leave it at that. Because when you get to seeing what you did for somebody as far as you building channels, nobody over there, nobody over there started anything from scratch. Nobody. Mm. Nobody. No and when I say started anything from scratch, I mean everybody over there, channel, 
except for I'm going to say Kiana's. Everybody's channel. I was going to say definitely there, Kiana. Was built off of a channel or a brand that I elevated. Ki and Kiana was doing pranks with her ex. Mm -hmm. Um, she came in and they was getting crazy views. Then when they broke up, I believe that's when Kiana went looking out for you know help. Elevated. Nobody else over there. Everything from that company is built off my foundation. So y'all welcome. Uh, and I ain't gonna lie, she feels some type of way. I think she feels some type of way about Nea. I don't know if that's Damien uh business or he got something to do with that business. But if y'all don't know, Damien and her um worked together and she helped with their um foundation as well. Now I don't know if she came after they was doing the 15, 20 videos a day. I was actually supposed to interview her, but at the time, I was a hot-ass um, mess. Uh, I was actually going through a breakup and was being exposed, so I couldn't even think correctly. So we really could not do that interview. But, um, child, I've been a hot-ass mess around her mm -hmm. a couple times, actually. And, yeah, I, I don't think that... And ain't nobody perfect. I think everybody just played their role in this. And they all just shouldn't have been doing this together. <laughs> That's just really how I feel. Like, Absolutely. They shouldn't have been doing it together. But um, shout out to Janae. Janae taught me a lot of shit. Even during the time I was all fucked up. She was probably one of the reasons why I got out of it. Um, Because she, was ba she basically told me you broke on your own. Like you're broke because... You choosing to be. And I was like, mm -hmm. what the fuck that mean? <laughs> right? And girl, when she broke that thing down, that's why I got 100 channels today. That's why I'm about to be uploading on all of them. I was trying to figure some shit out, but fuck it, we just going to keep reacting to YouTubers. <laughs> and she was right. Mm -hmm. She was 100% right. So, yeah. We done with this video, though. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabay!